So you want money, eh? Don't we all? More specifically, you want to make money in The Sims 4. Okay, I feel you. Let's explore all the various weird ways you can get your bag in Sims 4. Hey party people, what's up? I hope you've been staying happy, healthy, and hydrated. Today we're going to check out all of the weird ways you can earn money in Sims 4. There are many ways to earn cash in game. You can go the traditional way and get a job, you can do some freelance work, or you can go about it in a totally different way. I've tried to find all of the unusual methods of earning cash moolah baby in the base game, but if I miss something, please let me know in the comments. Also, some of these methods may not be that weird for The Sims. Nevertheless, they might be a little strange to picture someone relying on that for their income in real life. I'm also not including hobbies such as painting, woodworking, or writing. I think most simmers already know about that. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe, and slap a comment into the comment section. All of that helps me out greatly. Let's begin with a basic one. You can walk around the neighborhood and collect all sorts of things to sell in your inventory. Go up to various plants and harvest them, go to the digging spots and dig up treasure, or go rock collecting to earn some cash. The base game features 13 collectibles such as crystals, metals, fossils, and my sims trophies. This one goes hand in hand with the first one. When you go searching for collectibles, you'll come across logs where you can search for frogs. Of course, you could just straight up sell the frogs that you find, but that's a one and done interaction. Instead of that, you should keep two in your inventory and breed them, then sell that frog. There is a rather long cooldown, but if you're looking for an easy way to earn a bit of cash over time, this is a great way of doing it. Maybe you're practicing bartending so your sim is creating tons of drinks. You could sell those empty glasses in your inventory. Next. You could have your sim become a black widow or gold digger. Essentially, you gotta romance a rich sim. Maybe that sim is an elder. You never know. And get married to them. Now all you gotta do is wait for that sim to die or you could kill them yourself. You could marry numerous times and make a ton of money that way. This method is very similar to the last one, but a tad less fun, but it's easier. You could just merge your household with a pre-existing rich family. You could move your sim in with them or build up your relationship with them. Then ask them to move in, sell their furniture, and finally, you could kill them off. Regardless of what you do with the rich sims after the fact, this is probably the easiest way to get the most money in the least amount of time. Did you know your sim could earn money from making apps or games? If you want to be able to make games, you'll need to get to level 7 of the programming skill. Computer games take 36 hours to complete, while mobile apps take 24 hours. Once you've made the game, your sim will receive royalties. However, it's worth noting that your sim will get less money in royalties after a while. You can also make some money from making plugins. It's not much of an income at first, but as your skill increases, so will your earnings. Another way you can make money from the programming skill would be through hacking. Hacking. There's multiple servers you can try to hack, with each one having a 24 hour cooldown. Pretty much the higher the server, the more money your sim could earn. This has the potential of earning you tons of money, thousands of simoleons in fact. You can also create a virus, which will earn you a bit as well. Haha, <laughs> you get it? You can make a catchy virus and earn money. <laughs> Next, you could do some freelance work and perform programming for other sims. You could do this through an interaction on your computer which allows you to find a random job. Doing freelance work will take a long time though. Yes, even you can ask your father for a small loan, although it's not going to be a million dollars. You can do this by leveling up your charisma skill to 7. Once you become friends with someone, you can ask them for a small loan. Small loans are about 500 simoleons. Once you've gotten your charisma skill to level 9, you can ask for a big loan of 2,000 simoleons, hey. You can ask one sim for both of these loans, but you won't be able to ask them again. You can pay them back if you want, or you can just like, you know, never talk to them again. It really doesn't matter and it won't affect your gameplay. There's a base game trash can that actually gives you money every time you throw something away. It's called the Nano Touchless Trash Can. For a while there, there was actually a bug where this trash can stopped giving out money, but I'm happy to say it's been fixed. 
This is a great way of making some extra cash while just living your best sim life. If you like having evil or mean sims, then this money making method is for you. Your sim must be at least level 4 of the mischief skill. Furthermore, your sim must be in the criminal career. To be able to pickpocket another sim, you'll need to introduce yourself and then try it out. Your sim will give the other sim a little hug, and as they hug, they grab a bit of money from, I'm guessing, the other sim's back pocket. You won't be able to pickpocket for a little bit afterwards since somebody might get suspicious. If you end up buying the microscope, you can make some of your money back from it. You do this by selling the microscope prints. Honestly though, these prints make for very nice wall decorations, but if you're not into them, then it's a nice way to make some money off a bigger purchase. Did you know you can make money off of dating? And yeah, I'm not talking about having a sugar daddy. That's right. If you have your sim go on dates, they can actually earn some money. You do this by doing the date objectives. Then, once you've hit gold, you can cancel the date if you want to. Since the date was terrific, your sim will receive a present in their inventory. Then, you can sell that for extra cash. If you love this way of earning cash, there's really no stopping you from going on several dates back to back to back to back. Similar to the last one, you could host parties and try to achieve the gold medal for them. Once you achieve the gold status, you can cancel the party or finish it up. That's up to you. You should receive an award in your household inventory from the party. Once again, you'll be able to sell this for cash moolah. I found tons of other weird ways you can make money in Sims 4 from all the various packs. So if you want to see another video that features DLC, please let me know and I will do it. Thank you for watching, I hope you stay well, I'll talk to you in my next video, bye!